Here's another example. In this case, we've got distance to the closest transit station versus price. Here we see that the correlation statistic is minus 0.571. So that's telling us A, that the relationship is negative, and B, compared to the 0.841, the strength of this relationship isn't as strong. These points tend to um, scatter away from this main dominant trend line to a larger extent than, say, these points over here scatter from its trend line. So we would call this moderate negative auto, uh, sorry, moderately negative correlation. We can compute the T statistic again. So here we've got T equals R times square root n minus 2 over 1 minus R squared, which equals minus 0 0.571 root 47 over 1 minus minus 0 0.571 squared, which equals minus 4.8. So if we have the normal curve, and minus 4.08 is going to be way out here in the tail. It's definitely going to be past a critical value um, associated with, you know, an alpha of 5%. Okay, so here again we would reject and say that uh, we reject the null hypothesis that price and transit are independent. Instead, we would favor the alternative hypothesis that price is negatively correlated with distance to transit. So in other words, as houses get farther and farther away from the closest transit stop, we see a decline in house pricing. pricing. Finally, here's a, a, relation, uh, a scatter plot between distance to the closest fire hydrant and the, dist and the price of a house. And now right away we see in the scatter plot that there's really no discernible positive or negative pattern in the, in the relationship between these two variables. So intuitively, we don't expect that the price of a house would really change depending on how many meters away the closest fire hydrant is. Uh, but we can compute a Pearson's R statistic, and in this case, the statistic is minus 0. Point, uh, oh, sorry, minus 0 0.066. So if we wanted to compute the T, we would have n minus 2 over 1 minus R squared, which equals minus 0 0.066. 47 over 1 minus 0 0.066 squared. Uh, that's a negative in there. Okay, and that equals 0 0.46. So here's our normal curve, and this is 0, and here's our critical values. Our test statistic is somewhere over here, well inside the zone of acceptance. So in this case, we would not reject the null hypothesis. And this scatter plot isn't providing any evidence that the population correlation between these two variables is different to zero.